So uh, let's go ahead and let's get started. Uh, my name is William Gallagher. I am with Market Traders Institute. I am excited and honored to be here with each and every one of you here today because I'm going to be going over and showing you our charting software, but more importantly, I'm going to teach you a trading strategy that you can literally start using uh, starting on Sunday when the market forex market opens up. So I'll be talking about trading in the forex market, teaching a trading strategy, demonstrating our charting software as well. Uh, actually, what I'm showing you here today, it's called, I call it my Quick Start Forex program. I'm going to put every, all these tools, all this education in your hands here today for a trial. It's going to cost you $1 to take this for a trial for 14 days. Uh, so I'll teach you a trading strategy, go over the charting software so you can literally start trading in the Forex market starting on Sunday when the market opens. Now before we begin, uh, because I am going to be pulling up my charts here, I am going to teach you a trading strategy and I'm also going to walk you through and show you a current trade that I'm looking at. Uh, but before we begin, I want to let you know there is no such thing as an undefeated season with trading. You may incur losses from time to time. Now your key is to keep your profits high and to have minimal losses as you're going along. Now we do highly recommend you go through this entire strategy, learn this entire strategy in its entirety, and you begin trading as an educated and knowledgeable trader. Also please, advise, please be advised, like I said, anything I show you today, do not take this as actual investment advice. I am going to walk you through several trade examples, show you what I'm looking at here, but ultimately when it does come time for you to place a trade live, that decision to make that trade is yours and yours alone. So, uh, as Renee had already said, she's just talked a little bit about me, but a little about my background. I have been in trading in the investment market since about 1998. I have worked for several different financial companies, and I also did help start, launch, and build an entirely new financial services company from the ground floor up. Uh, what I would like to say, though, is that even though I did know about the Forex market, I didn't quite understand the potential in the Forex market until I was in a webinar, just like those of you are here today. I uh, found out about MTI, I actually have gone through their education. In fact, everything I'm going to teach you today about the Forex market, about this trading strategy, I actually have learned from Market Traders Institute. So I'm actually a student. I was a student. I've been doing this for about two, three years now. And then they brought me on board. Uh, they wanted me to start going on teaching new people how to trade as well. So uh, for those of you that may have missed my colleague earlier here today, Joe Cavallaro, I am coming to you live from the Market Traders Institute in Orlando, Florida. Uh, we're about uh, probably about 15 minutes north of Walt Disney World. This building you see on your screen right here, this is actually our building. Uh, we just moved into our brand new building about a year ago, and uh, we, it's a 70,000 trading, 70,000 square foot trading and training facility. You can literally come to our building, get trained live in person, right in our classroom. We have students that come to our building on a daily basis, they get trained live in our classrooms, or you also learn how to do this online. Now, a little bit about Market Traders Institute. Uh, we are celebrating our 23rd anniversary here in April, so we're really excited about that. Uh, like I said, we're located in Orlando, Florida. We've been tr teaching people how to trade since 1994, have over 30,000 students. Uh, we are getting some accolades, though. Some of the accolades we are getting, I can see here we're nominated for one of Trader Planet Star Awards for Best Education. Uh, Florida Trend Magazine, a couple years in a row, they voted us as one of Florida's best companies to work for. Uh, more poorly right here. So maybe you might recognize this logo, Inc. Magazine. Uh, in 2004, I'm sorry, 2015, uh, we actually were ranked 1,180 on Inc. 5,000's fastest growing companies. And then in 2016, we moved up to 592. We're looking to crack into the Inc. 500 this year. So the only way we're going to keep doing this is if we are successful in teaching our students. And we measure our success in this market by the type of results that our team and our students are getting in this market. Now, we also gain the attention of Kevin Harrington. So you may have recognized him. He is one of the original sharks from Shark Tank. And as you can say, as you know, on that show, you have a bunch of billionaires sitting around there looking at different companies. Well, we gain the attention of Kevin Harrington. So we've actually partnered with Kevin Harrington. And he comes to our office every now and then. And we are starting a new program. It's called Trade Like a Shark. So uh, we talk about Kevin, uh, for those of you that are students here, in fact, actually Kevin's going to be coming back to us live here uh, in about a month or two for our 23rd anniversary event. We're going to have a lot of big names coming in. Les Brown, a couple of big names are going to be coming in for that. So uh, really looking forward to having Kevin and a lot of these motivational speakers and these people coming to see us here. So I just want to give you a little bit of an us before we jump in. Uh, before we begin, though, what I want to do is I want to get an idea of the Forex trading experience here in the room. I don't want to spend a lot of time going over what the Forex market is, 
if everybody already has a good understanding of what it is. So it uh, looks like we have, okay, we have about 150 of you here in the room. Uh, if everybody just quickly look at the screen before we begin and pull up the charts, let me know what your Forex trading experience is. Uh, if you are brand new to the Forex market, you don't know what the Forex market is, you have really no experience in the Forex market, go ahead and type the number one into the chat box. That's let me know you are brand new, you have no experience whatsoever. I type the number two into the chat box if you have a little bit of experience. Maybe you've been into a workshop like this before. Maybe even you're trading in a demo account. And number three is for my experienced traders. Those of you that maybe you have a lot of knowledge about the Forex market, uh, maybe you're already trading in it here. So okay, yeah, it looks like we got quite a few of you. Um, as a, a lot of these webinars, usually we do get a lot of ones here. I've got Alan's a one, Keenan. Uh, Jared says he's a one, Dan's a two. Uh, Roger says he's a three, Steve's a two, uh, Rhett's a one, Pedro, yeah, so it looks like I have maybe one or two experienced traders, most of you look like you're brand new, so uh, before we go in, I'll get you up to speed, in fact, let's go over the agenda here before we get started, uh, thank you for that, Jack as well, um, I'm going to go over some Forex part basics here, I'll take a minute or two, get you up to speed, let me explain to you what the Forex market is, uh, explain to you what we're doing in the Forex market. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my charts and I'm going to start off by teach you a very simple trading strategy. It's called the London Daybreak Trading Strategy. Now, uh, for those of you that may have not have seen this before, uh, this past week's been very successful. Uh, out of the 30 trades with this strategy, using the same strategy I'm showing you here today, you would have won at least 28 out of 30 trades. In fact, I'm saying at least 28 because there's one, depending on which tra trading strategy you won, you probably still would have won that one as well. So you're going to stick around for that because I'm actually going to demonstrate this for you and uh, you'll actually get the charting software in your hands so you can actually go back and see exactly what I'm talking about that. So it's been very successful over this past week. I will then go in I'll show you some analysis with our charting software. We have a lot of built-in automatic tools. Uh, we have an automated Fibonacci tool, an automated trend line tool, automatic support and resistance tools. You can actually trade live from our directly from our charts. Uh, I'll go over all that when I pull up the charts. And like I said, I will show you that current trade opportunity that I'm looking at here. So like I said, I kind of call this my quick start Forex program. I'm going to put these charts in your hands so you can take a trial with them today. Teach you a trading strategy, show you a trade I'm looking at, but I'll also teach you and show you how to set up a free demo trading account. So you can literally start practicing trading the Forex market uh, the market's about to close here in about an hour, so you're not going to be able to start doing this today, but you'll be able to start doing this on Sunday at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern time when the market uh, opens up. So I'll put all this in your hands here today for that trial. Like I said, very affordable. Everything I'm showing you, literally everything I'm showing you here today, you're going to get to take for a test drive for $1. Uh, so I'll explain that here in just one second. So uh, for those of you who are brand new, let's just get you up to speed here. Let me quickly explain to you what the Forex market is. What are you going to be doing when you're trading Forex currencies? Why, what are pips and why do you want them? More importantly, I'm going to show you today how you can actually start trading in this market right now. So for those of you unfamiliar with what the Forex market is, the Forex market, it is the largest financial market. There's over $5 trillion that is daily traded in this market. So Imagine just getting a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of that. That's all we're trying to do in this market is just get a little bit of a fraction of that $5 trillion that is traded daily. Uh, the only thing about this market is a very liquid market, meaning that it's very easy to get in and out of this market. There's always people that are looking to buy and sell in this market, so really easy to get in and out of the market. Now, it's also a very flexible market. Now, this is what I want to pay attention to because this ties into what I'm about to explain to you here with this London Daybreak trading strategy. You see, there are three major trading sessions that go on in the Forex market. You have the Asian trading session, you have the London session, and you have the New York, U.S. London session. Now, that was New York, uh, U.S. session. Now, these sessions, they overlap. So what that means is that you can literally trade the Forex market 24 hours a day from 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on Sunday through 5 o'clock p.m. on Friday Eastern time here. So, uh, lots of opportunities for those of you that maybe work a full-time job. You don't have to actually quit your full-time job and still be able to trade in the Forex market. Uh, the only thing about the Forex market, unlike other markets, stock market, where there are thousands of stocks you can watch and trade, in the Forex market, there's only 60 different currency pairs about that you can really look at trading. We narrow that down. We narrow it down to about 25 for you to focus on. But more importantly, 
because we have 23 years of experience, we're going to show you which ones to pay the most attention to, but we're also going to teach you the secrets to trading them. In fact, I'm going to show you six currency pairs to trade, uh, to focus on here today, and I'm going to show you a secret of how to trade these six here. Uh, one more quick thing before we jump into our charts. When I pull up my actual charting software, you're going to see charts that look like this. Uh, this is what is called a candlestick chart. Let me go over and explain to you for those of you who have never seen a candlestick chart. Uh, what we're looking at here is in the upper left-hand corner of my screen where this arrow is. You can see this has GBP USD. What this chart is showing you is the Great British Pound versus the US dollar. What we're doing in this market is we're taking one country's currency against another in an attempt to figure out which one's going to gain in value against the other. In this case, on this chart, as the market's going up, the pound is gaining in value over the dollar. As the market's going down, the pound's losing value against the dollar. Uh, one other thing you're going to need to know, these, like I said, these rectangles, these are called Japanese candlesticks. It's called a candlestick chart. I'm not going to go into a lot of details explaining what these candlesticks mean, but all they simply mean is that they represent what the market has done in whatever time frame you select on your chart. So let's go ahead, let's go back up to the left-hand corner of my screen. You can see this is a one-hour chart. I'm going to be showing you currency pairs on a one-hour time frame. What that means is that each one of these candlesticks, they are going to represent what the market has done in one hour of time frame. Now, all you really need to know if you're brand new with our charting software is that the white ones mean that ultimately the market went up and closed up during that hour of time frame. The dark blue ones means that the market went down. They ultimately went down and closed down during that one hour time frame. So if you're taking notes, write down that the white ones are bullish candlesticks and the dark ones are bearish candlesticks. One more quick thing. These candlesticks are going to form what are called candlestick formations. We use these candlestick formations as like a sign language in this market. They help to tell the trader's story. This one down here in the bottom left-hand corner of my screen that I circled, uh, this one here is uh, called a Morningstar candlestick formation. What this is telling the trader is to say, hey, look for this market to U-turn and go upward in a bullish movement. Up here at the top of my screen, this is called an Evningstar candlestick formation. Once again, sign language of the market, kind of giving a little hint to the trader saying, hey, look for this market to U-turn and go downward in a bearish movement. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining candlestick formations. We do teach our students all about them, and we can go to much greater detail uh, if you choose to become a full-time student with us here. Uh, but I will show you in our charts that our charts actually have the ability to point out and actually show you the different candlestick formations. I'll get in here and I'll show you that here in just a second. Uh, one more thing before we move forward. I uh, have to explain to you what a pip is, because in this market we're looking to capture what are called pips. Now, PIP, P-I-P, it is an acronym. It stands for Price Interest Point. So let me break this down very simplistically. Most of you probably already know that there are 100 pennies in a U.S. dollar. So a penny, it represents one one-hundredth of a U.S. dollar. Now, if we were looking for a unit of measure that's smaller than a penny, it would be the equivalent to what is called a PIP. Now, a PIP, it represents one one-hundredth of a penny. So just as there are 100 pennies in a U.S. dollar, there are 100 pips in a penny. So if we were to look at this number right here, the first two numbers past the decimal, these are your pennies. The next two digits, these are your pips. Very simple, very easy to understand. I'll point that out as we go into the market. Now, we have to determine how much those pips are worth now. In the Forex market, we're going to utilize leverage. This leverage is going to give us buying power in this market. Now, this leverage is going to be provided by your broker. And you can choose whatever broker you like. I'll, I'll throw out a couple here at the end of the webinar. I'll explain which one I use. You can choose whichever one you want to use. But what the brokers are going to do is they're going to allow you to place the trade and then generate a leverage return on the pips. Now, in the Forex market, we trade in lots. There are what are called micro lots. Now, micro lots are very small lot size. It's a $20 investment from your trading account. Each pip that you capture is going to be worth 10 cents. If you're trading with a micro lot account and we capture 50 pips, that means you just generated five, about $5 in profit. So that's a micro lot. Next size up is what's called a mini lot. A mini lot is about a $200 investment from your trading account. Each pip is going to be worth $1. So we capture 50 pips on a trade, 
That means we just generated about $50 in profits uh, for that trade. The next size up is what's called a standard lot. Standard lot is the standard by which most traders strive to achieve in this market. A standard lot is about a $2,000 investment from your trading account. Each pip is going to be worth $10. So we capture 50 pips on a trade. That means we just generated about $500 in profit off that trade. So uh, once again, it comes down to which lot size you're going to be trading with here. And one of the things we're going to do, in fact, I'm even going to show you today how you can actually set up a demo account where you're going to start off, it's like it costs you anything to, to practice trading in the live market. But what we'll do is we'll get you comfortable trading with a demo account. When you're comfortable with your demo account, then maybe you'll invest some money into your trading account. Maybe you'll start off at the micro lot, low, micro lot level. You'll become comfortable with your trading. You'll build up that confidence in your trading. Your account level will build up. We'll get to the point where you start trading at a mini lot account. And then once again, when you're comfortable trading at the mini lot account level and you're uh, comfortable with your trading, we can get you up to the standard lot size. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's move forward. Let's start talking about the London Daybreak trading strategy. Now we have all this out of our belt. Uh, before we do, let me introduce you to the creator of the London Daybreak trading strategy. Uh, his name is Joshua Martinez. Now, the reason I want to talk about Josh is because I'm kind of going to give you an overview. I only have about 45 minutes here to give you an overview of how this trading strategy works. So I'll give you kind of a Cliff Notes version of how the London Daybreak trading strategy works. But you'll also get a video from Josh. In fact, you're going to get several training videos as part of this trial here where Josh, the creator of this trading strategy, he will go through it in a little bit more detail for you, explain to you a little bit more of this. Now, why you should be listening to him, uh, he is one of our product experts here at MTI. He has trained thousands of Forex investors. In fact, he started off trading. He's put $500 in his trading account. Using this trading strategy I've shown you here today, he ended up generating over $39,000 in profit from it. He's made thousands and thousands of Forex investments, published author, international speaker, and he is a full-time trader. Now, I do need to update this here. This is a third-party verified uh, trading account here. Uh, this trading account here was verified by MyFX Book Pro, uh, MyFX Book. Uh, this is actually, he's done a lot better. I think over in 2016, he actually captured 38,000 pips trading in the Forex market here. You see here he had over a 32% success rate here, but uh, once again, he's the one to get teach you and show you this in much greater detail. I'm just here simply just to uh, go over this for you here. So yeah, as part of this, and I'll explain this here after I, I demonstrate this strategy for you. You'll get a video from Josh. He'll go into details explaining everything about this as well, everything that I can't get to here today. So uh, let's go ahead, let's get started. If you're not taking notes, this is probably where you're going to want to start taking notes because these are the six currency pairs we are going to be utilizing for the London Daybreak trading strategy. We're going to be utilizing the Great British Pound Canadian dollar, Great British Pound US dollar, Great British Pound Japanese yen, Great British Pound Swiss franc, Great British Pound New Zealand dollar, the Kiwi, and the Great British Pound Australian dollar, the Aussie. Now, part of this here, part of our trading strategy, I'm going to show you. We're going to be going after a minimum of 50 pips per currency pair per day. We're going to be going to show, Josh will show you how to go after more than that. I'm going to show you how to kind of get on first base. Just go after 50 pips per day per currency pair. So that's going to give you five opportunities on each currency pair each week to utilize this trading strategy. So like I said at the beginning of the webinar here, that gives you 30 trading opportunities each and every week. In fact, this past week, uh, Monday through Friday this week, like I said, uh, this trading strategy has been successful on 28 out of 30 trades. The 29th one, uh, depending on how you use it, it could have been, it still would have been a successful trade depending on how you close it out. But I'm not only the one, so you were one 28 out of 30 trades using this trading strategy here. So let's go ahead, let's jump in, let's pull up the charts. And if everybody could just be so kind, type in Y or yes when you see the six charts on your screen. You see she has a screen right now uh, that has uh, six charts on it. I think I think that Carl, uh, Daniel, thank you for that, Charlie, uh, Derek, and Winston. Great, I appreciate everybody responding here. So I'll have, let's go ahead, let's jump in. So uh, what you see here are those six currency pairs. Uh, in the upper left-hand corner of my screen, you have the Great British Pound Australian dollar. In the center, the Great British Pound Canadian dollar, Great British Pound Swiss franc up here in the upper right, Great British Pound Japanese yen, ja uh, Great British Pound New Zealand dollar, and the Great British Pound US dollar in the bottom right-hand corner. So uh, some of you can probably already see that these are all on a one-hour time frame. 
So that means each one of these candles is going to represent one hour in the market here. So uh, once again, uh, this has been very successful here. I had actually a hard time trying to figure out which one to demonstrate the strategy on. So I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to demonstrate this for you here on the pound US dollar. Now actually before we get, I was going to talk about this later here, uh, but I got uh, Marlon here just asking a question here. What are these little rectangles at the top of my screen? I want to explain everybody that this charting software as well that you're seeing here, this is the actual charting software you're going to get to take for a test drive. Uh, Market Traders Institute, we've invested millions of dollars in this charting software. It is proprietary. Uh, we do have a lot of unique and, and built-in features that are exclusive here. Uh, one of these things are these rectangles that Marlon just pointed out. Uh, the neat thing about this is that you can actually save your charts to workspaces and you're able to actually save it. So they can come up here on the workspaces. I uh, can save them to your computer or save them to the cloud. So uh, for instance, uh, right now I'm working in a different office here today. All I have to do is log into my charts on a different computer and I can access all my charts, all these different workspaces right from the cloud. That's the neat thing about this. Or we can teach you and show you how to save them onto your computer as well. So I actually have this London Daybreak trading strategy on its own workspace right there. So thank you, Marley, for, uh, for asking about that. But let's go ahead and let's move forward. I am a pull up. As I mentioned, this is the Great British Pound US dollar currency pair. We're actually going to begin this trading strategy. So let's go ahead. I'm going to pull this down. Let's pull this down. And let me explain to you what we're going to be looking for here. This is where we actually get into the actual strategy itself. Let me draw some lines here. Just like this here. And oh, oh, I'm sorry about that. So Ray is asking what this is. This is, once again, the London Day Break Strategy. Now, once again, I'm, I'm going to have enough time here to kind of give you a Cliff Notes version of this here today. Uh, but Josh, I'm going to give you the basics. He'll be able to take you and uh, teach you a little bit more. But with the basics I'm showing you here today, like I said, my friends, you would have won uh, 28 out of 30 trades just doing what I'm showing you right here. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's get started. What we're looking for here as part of the London Day Break trading strategy, we're going to be looking for the initial high or low for the day. And this is going to be happening between 2 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time and 5 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. So what we're going to be looking for is we're going to be looking for the market to either pull back and form its low for the day and then rally up. Or we're going to be looking for the market to rally up, form its high for the day, and then to go down. So uh, the reason for this is because as I, I kind of alluded to at the beginning of the webinar, there are those three major trading sessions. What you have going on during this time period is you have the close of the London session, I'm sorry, the close of the Asian session, and you have the opening of the London session here. So between 2 o'clock and 5 o'clock, we're going to be looking for this initial low. I'm about to show you and exactly pinpoint what we're going to be basing that low off of here. So just stick around. Now, what we're going to be looking for next, we're we'll start off because the lows, this uh, initial higher low is the easiest thing to find. We're then going to be looking for the opposite high or low for the day. And this is what we're going to be looking for between 8 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time and 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So what we're ultimately looking for is the, the initial higher low looking for this directional movement right here, and then the initial higher low for the day. Now this 8 o'clock to 2 o'clock, what you have going on right there is the close of the London session and the opening of the U.S. session here. So this directional movement here, what we're looking for is off of each one of these currency pairs. They have what's called the average daily trading range. Now, the average daily trading range is a minimum of 50 pips, and it's over 200 pips on each one of these currency pairs here. So what we're going to be looking for, as I said, we're looking to go after that minimum of 50 pips of this directional movement. Now, I'm going to show you just the basics of this here today. Uh, Josh will be able to go in, and he's going to fine-tune this a little bit for you, showing you how you can go after more than those 50 pips. Now, if you remember, like I just said here, how much are those 50 pips is going to be worth. If you're trading with a micro lot account, each of those pips are going to be worth about 10 cents. So that means you'd be generating about uh, $5 in profit off of those 50 current of those 50 pips. Uh, if you're trading with a mini lot account, 
Uh, each pip is going to be worth one, about one dollar. Uh, it will be generating about fifty dollars in profit, and of course, the standard lot. Uh, each pip is going to be worth ten dollars, so uh, there's a potential for about five hundred dollars in profit off each currency pair per day. Now, once again, I know some of you are saying, "Well, William, I can't trade. I don't have uh, the two thousand dollars invested for the standard lot." That's why I'm going to show you today how you can open up a demo trading account practice doing this before you even invest any money into your trading account. Now when you're comfortable, I suggest starting off at the micro level or the mini lot level. Just start, tip your toes into the water, get started, build up your confidence, build up your trading account, and eventually get to the point where you can start trading at a standard lot account size here. So uh, if everybody has this written down, if not, like I said, Josh will be going into much greater detail about this. So let's go down into the actual market. Let's go down into the actual market. I'm going to demonstrate this for you here. What we're looking for uh, with that directional movement. So what I've done is I've come in here already and I've highlighted. You see right here there's two o'clock, or I'm sorry, here's three o'clock right there. And you see here a little bit a little bit of directional movement. It went up, pulled back, but ultimately the market went up about 54 pips. Not too bad. Uh, the market right here, here's our three o'clock. Look, there's three o'clock. It went down 70 pips. Right, here's the next one right here. Uh, this one went up 89 pips. Uh, this one right here probably wasn't the best one here. This one I had to go down about 50, not too bad. Uh, this one right here, uh, 139 pips, not too bad. And this one right here was about 81 pips. Once again, not all of them are going to be winners. Uh, this one moved 27. Uh, where's our 3 o'clock? There's our 3 o'clock. This one moved uh, about 45. So this one right here is the one I was talking about. This one, depending on how you close it out, you still would have wound up with either 45 pips or uh, 97 pips off of that one. Not too bad. And of course, there's this one right here. Uh, this one was actually, in fact, I think this was Monday, uh, the 30th. There was Monday's trade. And here is Tuesday's trade here. So uh, there are some of you might be, in fact, actually, yeah, I actually want to just ask, why does this happen? Let me give you an explanation of why this directional movement happens. Now, it's been said that during the London session, you have the banks, they're processing the largest bulk of the Forex transactions. So what happens during this period is the banks, they're processing their orders. This provides a huge injection of volume and starts providing this directional movement into the market. So this strange, the strategy I'm about to show you is going to help us take advantage of the directional movement right here. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, let's move forward and let's get started. Let's zoom in right about yeah, right there. So I'm going to highlight that candle. So this is going to be on Tuesday. And I'm explaining to you why we're starting here on Tuesday. Let's zoom in. Right there. I'm going to make it nice and big for everybody. There we go. Now, once again, uh, so a couple of you just asked what this is. Once again, this is the London Day Break Strategy. And the reason I'm showing you this is because this is going to be very easy to learn and very easy to understand. Now, we're going to be basing this off of the close of the 3 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time candle. So what I've done is I've come in and I've highlighted each one of these 3 a.m. candles. And this is the one from Tuesday. You know, if I click on that, 3 o'clock a.m., so that market has closed. I'm going to zoom in here just a little bit make that even bigger here. That's one of the neat things about our charting software, very easy to use. Uh, and zoom in like what I'm just showing you here. So uh, if you're taking notes, this is where you want to start taking some notes because we're about to go into the actual strategy itself. Oops, back that up. Okay, so the first step, we're going to place two pending orders. One pending order is going to go 10 pips above the high here. So uh, 2579, we're going to set this at 25, uh, 2579. Right there, 25.89. Now I'll type this out. Uh, this is going to be an entry, entry, buy. It's a pending order. We're not actually in the market until we actually get in. It's going to be plus 10 pips above the high of that 3 o'clock a.m. candle. Yeah, right there. In fact, Jay just asked, are we talking about the wick? Yeah, this wick right here. And you see that little whip part, that's the high. So 10 pips above that high. So if I come in here with my measuring tool, just to confirm that that is 10 pips. And uh, yeah, it should be about 10 pips. There we go. Yeah, so 10 pips above that high. Now we're also going to come in here. We're going to place another pending order. 
and it's going to go five pips below the low. So 2565, we're going to set this at 2560 right there. And this is going to be our entry cell. That's going to go minus five pips below the low, meaning that five pips below the low of that candle right there, the wick right there. So first step is we have our two pending orders. These are going to be on your broker's platform. We're not actually in the market until one of these orders get triggered here. In fact, actually what I want to do is I'm going to type out something for everybody here, and I'll explain this when we do the manual analysis here, but there's going to be three things that as a trader you want to know before you place your trade. Number one, where is the market going? As of which direction is it going? Number two, you need to figure out where, where and why to get in. And then number three, where and why to get out. And this trading strategy, without knowing much more of what I'm showing you here, you'll be able to get easily in and out of this market here. So uh, this is going to help us answer question number one, which direction is the market going? Is it going to go bullish or is it going to go bearish here? So let's see what happens here. We have that already set up. Let's see what, what moves forward. We're not in the market until we get triggered. So bam, one hour later, the next candle, it rallies up, triggers our entry buy. So our entry buy now, just became a market buy, meaning that what this has done is this has helped to give us an educated opinion that we believe the market's going to go bullish. Remember that directional movement? Well, we believe that directional movement's going to be bullish here. So the next step here, the first order of business is to come in here and cancel that opposite order. We're not looking to sell the market. We're buying the market. We're actually in this trade right now. So we cancel the opposite order. Now, we need to protect ourselves here if the market were to go against us here. Now, you want to take some notes on this because when buying the market, we are going to set our stop loss at the low of that candle here. So I'll type that out. When buying, when buying, stop loss is at the low. Uh, once again, it's going to be a little bit different when selling the market. Uh, Josh will go into a little more detail explaining to you why that actually is here. So we have our entry. We have our stop loss set if the market were to go against us. Now we need to determine where we're going to get out of this trade. So if you remember, I had mentioned we're looking to go after a minimum of 50 pips. So let's go ahead here. I'll measure out 50 pips. And to pull this down a little bit. And like I said, Josh will teach and show you how to go after a little bit more than this here. So let's see here, so right about there, so 1.2640, and that's going to be our target, which is also referred to as our exit, or our limit. That's where we're going to get out of this trade. Now it's going to be one of two different things, it's going to be one, very simple trading strategy I'm showing you here. It's going to be a minimum of 50 pips. Or, and I think Josh goes into detail about this in the video, it's going to be a one-to-one -one risk ratio. So depending on how many pips you're risking. In fact, on this trade right here, somebody just asked how many are we risking on this trade. We'd be risking... Uh, 24 pips on this trade. We're going after 50, so we're simply going to go after the 50 pips on this trade right there. We have our entry, protection, stop loss set, our exit. So at this point right here, so in fact, actually somebody just asked before, you're saying that we have to get up at 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock a.m. to do this. Well, at this point, you have everything already set in your broker's platform. You can go back to bed because you're either going to be automatically exited out at a loss or automatically exited out with a profit. So let's go ahead and let's see what happens though. One hour later, two hours later, the market does in fact go up, hits our target, we're out of that trade. Now once again, we just captured 50 pips on that trade, plus 50 pips. If you were trading with a mini lot, your mini lot account at $1 per pip, 
That would have been about a $50 trade in about, what, three hours, two, three hours. Uh, your standard lot traders, where we want to get you to, at $10 per pip, you would have made about $500 in about two or three hours right there. Now, once again, that's just one trade. I just showed you uh, the, the previous two trades on Monday and Tuesday, you would have hit this as well. So not too bad. Uh, you're already up three trades. You already hit the minimum of three pips uh, so far for the week here. And that's Wednesday here. So let's go ahead. We've got that all down. Let me show you another one of these here. I'm going to show you how you can actually get the video from Josh and everything for that as well. So let's delete all this. Delete this. And let's move forward here. I'm going to go ahead and bring this market forward. And as you can see here, the market does continue to go up a little bit. And the nice thing about that is Josh will show you how to move your stop loss up or lock in additional pips as you're going up here. So uh, let's move this forward. i got about time for one more. Right. Up 2 o'clock. Okay, there's our 3 o'clock. Uh, this is our uh, 3 o'clock a.m. from yesterday morning, Thursday morning here. So let's go ahead. Let's use the same strokes. Sorry about that. Same strategy on this one right here. I'll, I'll type it out for everybody. The first step, come in here and set our entry by 10 pips above the high. So 27.10. It's going to go right about there. Entry by. Once again, plus 10 pips above the high, just like that. Once again, it's a pending order. We're not in the market until we actually get triggered in buying. And then we have uh, our next one. It's going to be five pips below the low. So 2660, we set this at 2655 right there. And I'll type it out. That's our entry cell, minus five pips below the low. Just like that. So once again, first step is to come in here. It's going to help us answer question number one. We're either going to get triggered buying the market, believing the market's going to be going bullish, or get triggered selling the market, believing the market's going to be going bearish here. So both of our entries are set. Let's see what happens here. So one hour, two hours later, the market comes down and it triggers the entry cell right there. So what that means, our entry cell just became a market cell. What that's doing is that, once again, to answer that first question, first question number one, which direction do we believe that directional movement's going to go? Bearish. Very simple. That's the answer question number one. Now, we've answered question number two. Where are we going to get in? Where and why? Where we've got in the market. We're actually selling the market. In fact, uh, you have to, that's why I didn't answer that question before. Uh, I think it was Donnie or Alex, somebody just asked before, can you short the market? Absolutely. We can teach you how to short the Forex market. In fact, that's what I'm showing you right here. We're going to be shorting the market, uh, selling first and exiting out by buying later, for those of you that don't understand what shorting is here. So you might be wondering, how do you make money when the market's going down? We can teach you how to do that as well. So uh, once we get triggered into a trade, the next order of business is to come in here and to cancel that opposite order. Because once again, we have the educated uh, opinion we believe that directional movement is going down. So we have our entry. Let's set our stop loss now. Now our stop loss, uh, once again, there's our 3 o'clock a.m. candle. It's a little bit different when selling the market. Our stop loss is going to go five pips above this high. So 27.05. It's going to go right there. There's our stop loss. So we have our entry. Stop is set. In fact, let's measure this out here. Let's see how many pips we're risking on this one here. There's our entry. There's our stop loss. So we're out. Look at that. We're actually, if you look in the upper left-hand corner, we are actually risking 50 pips on this one. So once again, it makes our, our target very easy. Once again, the target, which is our limit, which is also our exit from this trade, is either going to be either one, a minimum of 50 pips, or one to one risk ratio. So in this case here, they are both the same. That's, that's nice right there. So let's come in here. I'm going to take my measuring tool. Let's measure out 50 pips right about there. So 1.2604, which is right there. So entry, stop loss. Our target is set. Let's go ahead here. Let's see what happens on this one here. 
So one hour later, bam, two hours later, the market rockets down, triggers our exit, and we just captured another 50 pips on that one. So once again, mini lot would have been, oops, mini lot would have been a 50, about a $50 profit, and a standard lot would have been about $500. Not too bad here. So I just showed you an example of the market going up, showing how we trade when it's going up and when it's going down. If you remember, I showed you here, if we back this up here to the beginning of the week, right there, there was our uh, Monday trade. You would have gotten at least 42 pips out of this one, almost 50 out of that one. Uh, this was your Tuesday trade, 74 pips of directional movement. I just showed you that one. I showed you that one. Let's bring it to the actual live market here. And here's the trade from, let me delete some of this. There's our trade. There's a 3 o'clock a.m. candle. And the market moved 65 pips on this one here. So not too bad. You would have won five out of the five trades. So that would have been 50 pips per trade. That would have been 250 pips on the uh, pound US dollar, on the pound US dollar currency pair. So not too bad, 250 pips, that would have either been $250 with a mini lot account or $2,500 with a standard lot. Not too bad, and that was just on the pound US dollar. In fact, actually, if we pull this back up again, that was just on the pound US dollar, uh, the pound Australian dollar, and when you get your charts today, when you take this for trial, you can go back through and you can verify this. You would have won five out of the five trades this week. On the pound Canadian, you would have won five out of five. On the pound Swiss franc, you would have won four out of five. Uh, the pound yen, you would have won five out of five. Um, the pound New Zealand, you would have won five out of five. And then on the pound US dollar, depending on how you close out that one trade, you would have won either four or five out of five on this one right here. So not too bad on that one right there. So uh, that was once again the London Day Break Trading Strategy, my friends. You're, I don't have a lot of time to go into more detail about it. Uh, the anything about is that, like I said, you're gonna be getting 30 trade opportunities each and every week to do this. I just showed you how you would have won, probably uh, you would have won 28, at least 28 out of 30, just with what I showed you right here. But the anything about is that you're going to get a video as part of this trial of the charting software I just showed you, which Josh, he's going to go into much greater detail. In fact, you know what, I'll go ahead and I'll pull that up right now. Let me pull that up. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, let me see if I can find, oh, I got to log back in. There it is. Ah, give me a second here. Ah, you know what, oh, there we go. So uh, you'll get, all of these videos here. In fact, we'll come back into that later while those are loading here. So, but all I want to do is, the trial I'm giving you here today is going to be for the charting software. You're going to get that charting software. Uh, it's going to have an automated Fibonacci tool. I'm going to demonstrate that for you here in just a second. Uh, auto trend line tools, uh, King's Crown tool. Uh, all these are built right in. In fact, it gives you the ability to email and text alerts right from the charts. You can trade directly from the charts, and you got those workspaces. So let's come back in right now. As I promised, I have about a minute here. Let me pull up one more chart for you here. So that was the London Daybreak Trading Strategy, very simple trading strategy that answers those three questions. Let me show you the trade I'm looking at right now. Uh, this is on the Pound New Zealand, Pound New Zealand, the Kiwi, on the two-hour time frame. Now, what we're going to teach you, as part of these, this trial here, we're going to teach you how to use what's called the Fibonacci tool. Now, for those of you that don't understand what the Fibonacci tool does, let me go ahead and pull this down a little bit here. The market moves in waves. It's going to move in what's called an A, B, C, D pattern. So it's going to go A, B, C, D. Now it's going to do this when it's going up. And we're going to be looking forward to do it when it's going down. A, B, C, D, just like that. Now for sake time, time's sake here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the Fibonacci tool and when we determine this A to B boundary, we'll teach you and show you how to do this, you can pull out the Fibonacci tool, just like that, and you spread it between that A and B boundary, and what it does is in between this A and B boundary it produces these colored lines. These colored lines are called retracement lines. What that means is that in between this A and B boundary, we have found that there is a high probability of a pullback or a retracement. Now depending on how far back 
the market pulls back and then U turns and then extends up. That's going to help determine where to exit our trade. So in this case right here, if the market pulls back to one of these red retracement lines and we buy into the market after that U turn, and I'll show you a quick trading strategy of how to do that, we would then look to exit our position at the red extension, like a buddy system, red to red. Now, if the market were to pull back to a blue retracement level, right there, and we bind the market after a U-turn, then we look to exit our position at the blue extension, like a buddy system, blue to blue, and then, of course, uh, so you could probably already guess if the market were to pull back to the green retracement level in U-turn, and formed its C-point right there, we would then exit at the green level extension here. Now, it also works when the market's going down. We can come in here and for Fibonacci tool, A, B, C, D, just like that here. But the neat thing about all this is that we'll teach you how to do Fibonacci's, but the neat thing about it is that we even have a built-in tool. There's a tool that's built into our charting platform that all you needed to do is determine where to use it. And I'm going to show you a quick trading oops, a quick trading strategy here on how to use it here. Now, with the answer question number one, remember these three questions we talked about? I'm going to show you how to manually analyze this market very quickly. Where is the market going? Well, you can see here I've drawn what's called a trend line. Now, this trend line is going to help us take a little bit of fear out of the market because above this trial, trend line is our buy zone, and then below the trend line is our sell zone. So when we are below this trend line, we're looking to sell the market. When we are above this trend line, we're looking to buy it. And for those of you wondering how you draw a trend line, we'll teach you and show you how to do this. We have our trend line tool right here. We can draw our trend line just like that. Or we also have an automated smart trend line tool that all you need to do is come up here to the beginning, this high point right here, and it's going to automatically draw your trend line for you just like that. So nice built-in feature there. So that's going to help us question number one. Are we in the buy zone? or are we in the sell zone? Now, all we need to do then to run our Fibonacci's, we have a smart Fibonacci tool. So at this point, this is our low point in the beginning of this new trend. So we simply come in here and we can click that. Bam, it's gonna automatically and quickly draw our Fibonacci's as it's going up there. So as you can see here, as the market broke above this trend line in the buy zone, uh, before that you had one A, B, C, D swing. Then what ended up happening is that we had a new A, A, B, C point right here and then right here at the red extension that was our D point. Now watch what happened here. The market bounced along this line. This is what we call a level of support. What ended up happening right here in the last investor inspiration webinar, I was looking to see if the market was going to bounce off this line again. I said either it was going to bounce off and go up to our extension or it was going to break through. What ended up happening though is it broke through down to this purple line right here. This purple line is a horizontal level of support. See how the market came down here? Order level of support, level of support, level of support. And what eventually happened is that it did eventually rally up pretty much right to the point right there and then hit our D extension, just like that, A, B, C, D. Now, we'll teach you a little bit more details about all this here, but what ended up happening then is it came up and then started going back down again. So what we could do then is we can come in here, we delete all this, and we can come in here and we can now draw our Fibonacci's going down. There's our new high point, A, B, C, D, A, B, this would be our C point right there. Now, this is our projected D point right there. Now, what I'm looking for is very, something very similar to what I showed in that the last uh, Investor Inspiration webinar from last week. As you can see here, the reason I drew this purple line, this purple line is a level of support. Let me show you that. Let me highlight that for everybody here. Oops, I can use my circle here. You see there, support. We had support, we have support. So right here, what I'm looking for, I'm looking for one of two things to happen. I'm looking for either the market to bounce off that level of support and go back up, 
to be to form a new ABCD, or I'm going to be looking for it to come down here to our red extension, A, B, C, D, just like that here. So once again, there's a little more detail for some of you. Just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what to look for here. So we're going to see what's going to happen. Uh, I'm not ready to get into the market just yet until I look for it and see whether it's going to hold at support here and break through or go back up just like that here. So uh, another neat thing, someone's just asking, why are our candlesticks colored here? Another neat thing about our charting platform is that, like I told you, there's candlestick formations. You can come up in here and select which candlestick formations you want to look for, or you hit select all. The green ones are your bullish candlesticks, and the red ones are your bearish candlesticks. Here. So what I would be looking for also is look for some sort of bullish candlestick maybe around that area as well. Another neat thing is let's just say that I wanted to buy the market right now. We can hook up our charting platform to our charts, and if we want to do a market buy, just click on that. We can do a market buy. We can set our limits, our stops, all right there, and it's connected right to our platform. That's part of this as well. We'll teach you and show you how to link your broker's platform to it as well. So I'm about to run out of time, my friends, but I want to get, make sure that everybody gets this in their hands here today. So there's so much more that's built in this charting platform. You're going to get videos that goes over a lot, if not all of this here. It'll show you how to use that Fibonacci tool, how to use the Trendline tool. We even have a built-in King's Crown tool, Candlestick tools, show you how to email. If I can go back in there, let me quickly show you that here. Uh, let's just say that I wanted to uh, send an email alert if the market does in fact break below this line. I can hot click on that line, hit add alert, and it can send me an email or a text alert alerting me when it does in fact break below that line right there. So that's just an example here, but we have the ability to send you emails and texts, trade directly from the charts, your workspace is going to be uh, pulled right from the cloud, and you can do demo trading and auto trading. You'll get videos on all of that here. So what we're going to do here, as part of my Forex Quick Start program, like I said, we're going to put all of this in your hands here today. That charting platform, the instruction videos, you already know a trading strategy, so you're ready to go. Uh, so we're going to do something very special here for Investor Inspiration. Normally, to get this charting platform, you would have to be a student of Market Traders Institute. You have to go through one of our ultimate trading uh, trading, training programs. Uh, they're, they cost a little bit of money, uh, but they're well worth it. They're worth it for the education you're going to get. But uh, as part of uh, Investor Inspiration here, uh, we normally would charge $249 a month to our students for this year. We're not doing any of that here today. We're going to waive all of that here today. So what we're going to do, for those of you that would like to take our charting software for a trial period here, we're going to give you a 14-day trial for only $1. So for $1, you're going to get everything I showed you here today to try out for 14 days. So I'll show you here in just a second how to open up a demo trading account so you can literally get this all set up over the weekend so that on Sunday when the market opens back up, you'll have a trading strategy, you'll be able to play around with these charts, you'll have some uh, education as well and some instructional videos here. So uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to send out the link to everybody here to get registered for this. And I'm going to walk you through the process on how you do all this here. Uh, but as part of our Investor Inspiration Special, Everything I showed you here today, you get to take for a test drive for 14 days for $1. Uh, and I actually, yeah, Nathan just asked, do you have to be a student? No, you don't have to be a student of Market Traders Institute for this. So this is open to every one of you. Uh, we have 145 of you here in the room. All you have to do is click on that link, and you get registered for $1 here today. Now, the neat thing about this is also, as part of Investor Inspiration, we're not going to charge you the $249 a month or $259 a month that it is. Uh, after that, we'll get you locked in for an Investor Inspiration Special of only $59 a month after that. And that is on a month-to-month -month basis. There are no uh, subscriptions or long-term subscriptions. It's on a month-to-month -month basis. But uh, what I want everybody to do is find interest in this. If you're ready to get started practicing trading the Forex market, it's only going to cost you $1 for 14 days here. And we're going to throw in some free bonuses. I'll get to them as well. So I sent that link out to everybody here in the room. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to walk you through the process here. Uh, of how to actually get started in trading in the market. Number one, click on that link I just sent you. In fact, what I'm going to do, yeah, hold on one second here. Let me respond to some of you here. Some of you are asking for that link here. Uh, let me send that out here. I'm going to send that out. Uh, hold on one second. Okay, so let me send that out right now for those of you. There we go. So I'm sending that out to everybody into the chat box. You should have that link right now. Uh, that's the first step. Enroll into the Ultimate Charting Software 14-day trial. Now, the next thing is, 
you're going to get probably an email letting you know that you have been registered for this trial, and um, you'll probably get a subsequent email uh, with your login information. I'll go over that here in just a second. The login information will give you access to the video and training lessons here for both the charting and the London Daybreak. Let's pull that back up here. There we go. Let me see here. Actually, let me, let me show you step number one. Step number one, the link is going to take you to this page right here. You click activate your 14-day trial, and everything is in detail here. All of our disclaimers, uh, everything right here, cancellation policies, uh, is, is all going to be right there. You click on that, enter your information, activate the trial, and you're good to go. You'll be able to register for uh, this, this trial. This is only for investor inspiration. So I, I don't know how long we're going to keep this up, but I suggest going ahead and registering for it now. Now you're going to get information on, on your login information to log into this back end portal. This is where you get all these videos. In fact, you see Joshua Martinez, uh, the creator of the London Daybreak Trading Strategy. He's going to walk you through a series of videos here. We'll show you how to set up your demo account, enter and get in and out of the market. Uh, you also get his three workspaces uh, that you'll be able to uh, import into your charts. There's Fibonacci's. I didn't get a lot of chance to go over them. You'll get detailed training on those as well. Uh, oops, let me move that over. Uh, let me log back in. Uh, let's go to less, oops, less than 6 to 10. Okay, there we go. So we'll teach and show you how to back everything up, how to deploy systems, set up your auto trading system, uh, download the stations, navigation, all this is built in, and then uh, you're also going to get... Oops, that was 6 to 10. Hold on. Let me pull lessons 1 to 5. I'm sorry about that, my friends. I didn't realize I was going to get logged out of this here. So uh, let's pull back up lessons 1 to 5. There we go. So getting started, sort of navigating through the charts, the toolbars. We'll teach you and show you how to create custom indicators and templates. Uh, the AutoFib tool, we'll teach you and show you some tips on how to use that. Uh, how do you link this to a broker? I'll show you how to set up a demo account here in just a second. So you're going to get all of this here as part of that. So that's step number two. Get, step number one is to register for the trial. Step number two is to go ahead and view those lessons over the weekend. So then the next step, I'll show you here in just a second, set up your demo trading account. Uh, my personal broker is FXCM. Uh, you can use Forex.com and I'm not allowed to recommend a broker, but these are some of the ones I have used and my colleagues have used as well. Let's go ahead and let's pull that up. Uh, this is uh, FXCM. If you go to their web page, Right here, go up here to the top of the page, click on practice account, enter all your information. It's absolutely free. They're not, uh, they're not going to ask you for any payment information. And what you'll do is you'll be able to set up for a demo trading account where you can do all this playing with uh, practicing with play money that they'll provide you with here. So uh, neat thing about that is we can show you how to do that as well. Uh, so yeah, you can start practice trading literally over the weekend. So then on Sunday when the market opens, start practicing in the actual live market and actually try out that London Daybreak trading strategy. Now the next thing is to try out the ultimate charting software for 14 days. Uh, you just missed out on our Friday class for today, but next Friday, what I suggest you do is over the next week, write, take some notes, write down um, any questions you might have, because you will be in a live training class each and every Friday morning uh, with either myself or one of my colleagues. They'll walk you through, they'll answer any questions you might have as well about that here. So, uh, that's part of our special here today. You're going to get 14 days to take this for a trial. Uh, absolutely, um, it's up to you here uh, to go beyond those 14 days. So like I said, focus on the 14 days. See if this is for you. If you find interest in this, I should have taught you a trading strategy uh, that won 28 out of 30 trades here today. I think it's at least worth taking it for a test drive. See if this is something that interests you. Uh, if anything, what do you have to risk? You're risking a dollar over the next 14 days. As long as you cancel within those 14 days, it's going to cost you a dollar. If you choose to go beyond those 14 days, you know what? You simply, uh, you'll get locked in at, at our $59 a month uh, subscription for Investor Inspiration here. So uh, for those of you, uh, we'll go ahead. Some of you are saying, can you send up the link again? Let me send that out one more time. I'm going to send this out to the entire audience. There we go. And I'm going to send this out. Once again, some of you that have been asking for that link, let me send it out again. And there we go. So I only have about one more minute. Uh, if anybody has any questions, if you have any trouble with the link, please let me know. I'll do my best to try to walk you through this. Uh, if after this webinar, I'll try to stick around for a minute or so, but uh, if after the webinar, if for some reason uh, you have any questions, you're having any, any troubles with this, you might want to write this down or do a screenshot of this. 
Uh, this is our 800 number. Give us a phone call or there's our email address here. So let me just go ahead one more time before we exit the webinar. The first step is to click on that link that I just sent out. If anybody, if you're having trouble clicking on that link, or if you are successful with that. So a couple of you already typed in and said you're successful. Alex said successful. Uh, Robbie did. Uh, Jason did. Alan, great. I appreciate everybody Let me know that that did work out. But if, if it's not working out for you, just let me know and I'll, I'll resend it to you personally. So click on that link. Get registered for the trial. View those video training lessons. You're going to get these uh, for a dollar. It's at least worth a dollar to go through those video training lessons, learn the day, learn the daybreak training strategy. Let me pull that back up again. Let me pull that up. Let's see if it loaded. Yeah, you'll get once again the London Daybreak Trading Strategy. Uh, this is come right from Josh. He's actually going to walk you through this video, and he'll go into more detail about that London Daybreak Trading Strategy. So you'll get all these videos you can watch over the weekend. Set up your trading account. You can do that right now over the weekend. Uh, once again, it's a demo trading account. I'll do a Google search for demo trading. I'm sure you'll be able to find out some as well. Uh, start practicing trading. Uh, the market is just about close. You're not going to have a lot of time to do it today. So on Sunday at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, start trading, practicing in the market, and uh, try the software for 14 days. So that now, my friends, I've wrapped it up. If anybody has any questions, I see a couple more of you here. I think you've got Omar and Raphael. You guys said you were able to get that link and register. Uh, I'll be here for about another 30 seconds to a minute. Uh, if anybody, if you have any questions about that or uh, have any trouble with that here, Anthony, thank you for that. I, I appreciate that. And Derek, uh, Rudy says he just got it as well. Great. So I'm going to send that out one more time. Let me send out that link one more time to the entire audience. And on that note, I wish everybody a good day. Thank you for letting us uh, talk to you about this here. And hopefully found the value in this. Hopefully you found the value and at least taking this for a test drive. You get 14 days. One dollar. If anything, it's at least worth the dollar for all the information. We'll try to see if this is for you or not. So, on that note, I wish everybody a good weekend. I wish you the best in your new forex trading career as well. Thank you.